lights, I can't really see right Cold eyes to hide what it feels like They take for me what I need from you Five steps to find my way back to Your love will do for a comeback I get from them what I give to you Please take me back to a dream Where miles away a place is never seen Show me the wonders above Cause I don't need your favor, just your love fitness family so before I get to the whole topic right now um, I am in the game room so what does that mean shoot him shoot him just kidding you guys um, I am gonna start gaming I have been uh, gaming I game last weekend but I'm actually trying to start streaming on YouTube so stay tuned for that I just need, need to get everything set up but before I get into the whole topic of this let's change to civilian clothes ready Alright guys, now we are in civilian goals, ready did my uh, workout this morning, but before I get into anything else, I asked Jade, um, cause we started block leave, I'm not taking leave, she's not taking leave, but a lot of people are taking leave and a lot of the basic training soldiers are out and on leave right now, so I asked her if she can be in my next video or her can actually talk to you guys, so we are going to do a Q&A number two, and this time it's with Jade, so if you have any questions about me, and anything about my military history or anything you guys want to know, write down in the comment below. <coughs> if you want to know something about Jade and her past and all that, because she's been in the Army about 8 to 9 years already, ask questions. She is a 68 Whiskey, which is a combat medic. She is a staff sergeant. Uh, right now she is a drill sergeant. And she is a good person to ask questions because she's been, been in the military a very long time. Now, let's get to the topic of this video. Picking a military job. How can I choose what job to to get? Which MOS to go off by? I don't know how to, I don't know what to choose. That's a lot of questions I've been getting and asking what should I do? Should I just jump into something and reclass a little later on or something like that? I'm gonna go through like 10 steps or something like that and this is pretty much just choosing a military job. Me, I did not follow these steps. I should have, but I still landed a good job. But before you try joining, before you try you know, going super cool, look at your options. So, number one, look ahead of time. Look before you go to your recruiter. Look at all the jobs. If you go on GoArmy.com, you can actually look through the jobs and choose what you want to do. So before you try to go to the recruiter, because it's a whole fast process once you go to your recruiter. I know sometimes you'll try to slow it down and all that stuff, but sometimes it's just a fast process and that's how we, we roll. That's, we just get through it. Next step, next step, next step. So looking ahead of time at your options and what you want to do, keep that in mind. Don't wait. I mean, a lot of people have done this. I've done this. Don't go to your recruiter and then pick a job then and start looking. You can, like I said, you want to look beforehand. The things you want to think about is what do you enjoy doing? What job interests you? And what are you good at? What I'm like, I like thinking, and this is why I'm reclassing also, but my job has a good benefit out of the military. Having hazmat certification is actually really good. But, but what will give you a promising future? If you decide to stay in the military, what will give you a promising future? But if you do decide to get out, what can help benefit you through the military life? transitioning over to the civilian life because a lot of my buddies do get out of the military at first term or even second term and they go completely a different route than they they were going through the army and they weren't really thinking about oh will this really benefit me in the civilian world so try to keep that into account another thing is are you interested in being promoted because there's a lot of different MOS's that Promotion isn't that easy to get and sometimes some promotions are easy to get like I know 68 whiskey um, It took a while for Jade to get promoted just because it's the points are 790 never and then if you look at infantry 11 Bravo's infantry 29 or something like that So it, it depends on a lot of different things So think about promotion because I didn't think about that But luckily I got promoted and got all my stuff rolling and I got it just in time. Another thing is where would you like to be located because some military jobs like you can't go to certain places or you can go to certain places. Luckily um, chemicals can go everywhere. Uh, medics can go anywhere. CID can go anywhere. There's a lot of jobs where you can go anywhere. There's a lot of jobs you can't go anywhere. So 
keep that in mind. Another thing to think about, and I looked at it too, was was I qualified for the job. And luckily I was with my ads that I've been on that I was qualified for the chemical job. So those are the things you need to look at. If you go on goarmy.com, and I'm just mainly doing the army because I, that's where my route is. There's a lot of things, a lot of MOSs you can go off and then you can look at, like scroll down to the bottom and look at the requirements that's needed. So it'll tell you that, what ASVAB scores you need and all that stuff. So don't be afraid to go on goarmy.com. And being flexible with your job, it, it's very depending. Like I know for medics, it could be a hospital job, it could be an early sick call job, it could be a late job, it could be at the like being at the ER and all that. So think about how the schedule will be. Luckily, I'm an instructor. My job is flexible and sometimes we don't get lunch breaks. Sometimes we have to bring our lunch to um, to work and all that. So you, there's a lot of things that you need to keep in mind. I mean, if you have a kid, you know, you have to worry about time management and all that. But the Army will help you through that process and that's a whole different story. But just think about flexible schedules. And another thing, a lot of people put this out of their head, money. So there's a lot of, well there's not a lot, but I know there's some jobs where you can actually get paid, you can get bonuses and all that. So when you go to your recruiter, ask them about bonuses and ask them if you can get a bonus and don't try to let them tell you no, no, no. Look into it and talk to other people and figure out if you can get a bonus because that's something I didn't ask and something I should have asked is if I could get a bonus. I probably could have gotten a bonus, but, but I didn't it's because I didn't ask and I didn't know about it. So coming from me. San Bernardo, ask your recruiter if you can get a bonus or if you're, or what can you, you do to get a bonus? Because I know if you go to Airborne or something, um, <coughs> sometimes they, they allow you to get some bonuses if you go to Airborne right after and pass it. I know for my last reenlistment, which will be a whole different story, um, I could have gotten a bonus if I went to Airborne school after my last duty station, but I decided not to, mainly because I like my back and I know many stories where a lot of people have gone broken from it. <laughs> and and again, another story, but I decided decide not to. But it, it's an example of bonuses. That is pretty much it. That is talking about what or how can you choose your job. Talk to your recruiter, ask me, and I'll give you my opinion on it. I mean, if you like doing physical stuff and you plan on doing the Army for a long time, go ahead and go infantry. <laughs> I mean, infantry is really awesome. Uh, props to a lot of guys and now gals. I just, me, personally, I should have looked through my through my job before I signed up. I actually was gonna go artillery at first, but I said no. <laughs> and well, my mom helped me say no, but I should've looked more through the chemical. And I'm glad I got chemical because it is gonna help me out in the civilian world if I were to decide to get out of the military, which I am not planning right now. But it is a good input, but I am reclassing soon and choosing a different job just because I know it's going to be better for my life and it's something I love doing and is, is interested in so think about it because when you join and you pick a job and you just like screw it let's just do this job I, don't, I just want to join the military think about it's going to be about three years of your life are you going to be happy in doing that you want something to actually make you happy and that's the reason why I'm still in the military because the job I chose I'm still happy the opportunities I got in my last duty station made me rejoin the military. So that is something you need to think about. Don't just choose a job just because. Choose a job that you are wanting to do for three years of your life. And if you want to reclass after that, then reclass. I'm reclassing after my third term or second term. Well, eventually. Well, I'm reclassing soon. So it's all up to you. Don't let anyone pressure you. Don't let your recruiter be like, just just get this. You're fine. It's the awesome, the best job ever because they're going to lie to you. And I'm sorry to all the recruiters, but they do. They have a quota they have to fit in. So do your research first. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. Email me. My email is down below. So, yeah, I think that's all for about choosing MOSs. But I'll talk about next time why I chose my MOS exactly and what I'm reclassing to. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please write down in the bottom below your Q&A for Jade and, my, and me and we'll answer as much as we can and answer all the stuff that we can answer so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it wasn't too long but yeah now it's time to run some errands because i did all the i did my workout that i needed to do hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you like it if you didn't give it a thumbs down tell me exactly why happy almost merry christmas or happy almost holidays to you guys and